Now that you've gotten down your uh, key of C, we're going to move to the key of G. As in C had no sharps, no flats, um, the key of G has one sharp. It is called an F sharp. And so it's the same exact pattern as your C major scale, but we're going to start on G. So what we have here is your one, your Ionian mode. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Go to the next note. Your second note is A. This is your um, A Dorian mode is the two mode. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A. Now go to the third note, which is B. This is a B3, B Phrygian mode, the third mode. B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. Go to the fourth note, which happens to be C. This is your Lydian mode, your four mode. C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. Go to the next one. Your next note is your fifth note. This is your dominant note, really a dominant chord, but this is your Mixolydian mode starting on D. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. Go to the sixth note. This is E. This is your Aeolian, six. And it is E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. It's also here. Let's go to your uh, F sharp, which is your seven note. This is your uh, Locrian mode, your seven mode. F sharp, G, A, B, C. Also down here, so go to your F sharp. And so there you have all seven modes. And now let's kind of remember your one, three, five, seven. Where you play those notes, those four notes in any of the seven modes, and you have your respected chords. So let's see if we can kind of remember. We'll get a little refresher. So we got the first chord is the one chord, and it is a G major seven. Second one is your two chord is an A minor seven. Your third chord is a three chord. It is a B minor seven. Your fourth chord is your four. Your four chord is a C major seven. Your five chord is a D dominant seven. Your sixth chord is an E minor seven. And then your uh, seventh seven chord is an F sharp half diminished seven. And it's also here. So if you kind of see how the pattern is going, um, now you kind of getting your, you should start to wrap your head around how theory works. If you really think about it, you could, as you get going on in the different keys, you'll be able to figure out every key and every mode in every key and all the chords that are attached to it. So uh, hopefully this knowledge will help you out. Thank you.